Hey guys, this is Ray from SoyaChinchow.com and welcome to the very first episode of Ask Us Anything where we gather your questions from the internet and ask them. So the reason why we're doing this brand new show is because there's actually a bunch of really good questions that are left unanswered on our social media platform, on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. So we've decided to take this opportunity to answer them. So in this episode, someone asked us about spatial audio and whether if it's available on Macs. And also, what's a virtual RAM? And also, what's so good about it? So let's get into it. Alright, the first question, we got it from underscore Ben2725 from Instagram. So he asked, when will spatial audio be available for Max? That's actually a really good question. So if you guys don't know what spatial audio is, this is actually Apple's head tracking audio technology. It allows for a more immersive experience because it sounds like you're hearing things from all around you. Last year, they've also added spatial audio for Apple Music which means that certain songs will be compatible with the new technology. And if you guys don't know, here are the compatible devices for spatial audio. Alright, so coming back to your question. So apparently, there's already support for spatial audio on Macs, specifically MacBook Pro introduced in 2021. But fortunately, I can't get it to work on my unit. So I'm currently using the AirPods Pro and also the Intel Base 16-inch MacBook Pro and when I start trying to play music with it, I just cannot find the option of spatial audio. So this spatial audio feature isn't available in Malaysia just yet. But I've also seen some tutorials online that manage to turn spatial audio on with their MacBooks. So if you want to give it a try, here's how you do it. So make sure that you are wearing your AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, AirPods 3rd generation or Beats Fit Pro and they are connected to your MacBook Pro. Click on the control center icon in the menu bar and then click Bluetooth and then find your AirPods or Beats in the list. To turn on spatial audio and spatialized stereo while you are playing multi-channel or two-channel stereo content, choose spatial audio or spatialized stereo. So I hope this answers your question. Okay, moving on, we have Norhan Danish from RKMD. So he asks, why smartphones have virtual RAM? So virtual RAM has actually been really popular lately as you can see smartphone manufacturers like Samsung, Vivo, Oppo and also Xiaomi providing virtual RAM for their devices. So what does it mean? Basically your smartphone can separate some part of the storage and consider it as RAM which helps in better memory management or multitasking. However, having extra RAM may not necessarily provide extra performance when you're gaming. But it may prevent more apps from getting killed in the background. It all depends on how the feature is optimized by respective manufacturers. Next up, we have a question from RKMD from Pui Siang Ru. They ask, what's the difference between different monitor screen types? I know there's a TN and IPS and how much do they factor into pricing? Great question. Yes, there's actually different monitor screen types. There are three main ones, namely TN, IPS and also VA. So basically, IPS has the best viewing angles and best color reproduction while VA has the best contrast. TN historically has fast response time but bad viewing angles. TN used to be the budget one but nowadays each type has displays in every price range. If you're on a budget, we would still recommend secondhand or cheap VA or IPS panel. So if you want to know more details about this, Raymond actually wrote a full article on the different types of panels so I will leave the link down in the description box below. Last but not least, we have a question from Rambo from YouTube. He asks, how much is the MacBook Air education price? So, if you're a student who plans to get a brand new MacBook or iPad for studies, you can actually get them through Apple's education pricing which usually knocks around 10% of the original price. So this promotion is only applicable for college students, teachers and staff at all levels. In Malaysia, the 13-inch M1 MacBook Air is originally priced at 4,399 ringgit for the base model with 256 gigs of storage. But with the education pricing, you can get it for only 3,959 ringgit. The high spec model with 512 gigs of storage is going for 5,399 ringgit. With the education pricing, you will only have to fork out 4,959 ringgit. Plus, they are also currently having a promotion where you can get a free AirPods when you purchase the MacBook or the iPad. The free AirPods offer is running from the 6th of January until the 7th of March 2022. With the offer, you can buy an eligible Mac or iPad along with a pair of AirPods to enjoy savings up to 589 ringgit, which is the current retail price of the second gen AirPods. From the terms and conditions, you are able to get the latest third generation AirPods or the AirPods Pro, but you have to pay the extra price difference. As a reference, the third generation AirPods cost 829 ringgit, while the AirPods Pro is going for 1099 ringgit. 
Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching and remember guys, if you have any questions regarding to tech, please leave them down in the comment section below because we will be responding them in the next episode of Ask Us Anything. So that's about it. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. Alright, so see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.